Hey y'all, it's Kim. So I haven't been on for a couple of weeks, but uh, <laughs> obviously Trump won. So we went from this. Let's play this clip. <laughs> We're the 45th president of the United States. Of Okay, so I had, had never seen the full clip. I've just seen bits and pieces of her screaming like that. But yes, oh my gosh. So we went from that in <laughs> 2016. And I wonder what happened to this lady. I, I guess I could try to look her up at some point, see if she's anywhere on the internet. <laughs> to now, modern day, <laughs> this is the best reactions to the election. Let's play this one. This is ridiculous. <laughs> office for another four years knowing damn well what it means for our country oh my god <laughs> i shouldn't laugh but that one girl with the why 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 and then she says what do you hate me that bad are you serious nobody even knows who the hell you are nobody cares <laughs> oh my gosh these people are mentally unstable. <laughs> Let's look at uh, lefties losing it with Anita. How do you say her? Pirani? I gotta look at her name. I'm sorry. Uh, it's not on here. Oh, R Rita Panahi, I think is how you pronounce it from Sky News in Australia. It's the whole compilation of the lefties losing it. Oh my gosh, so who would have thought it would be this bad, but these people are out of their minds. Let me make this bigger so y'all can see it. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. The whole thing of lefties losing it. Lefties are losing it. Let's have some fun looking at reactions to Donald Trump's extraordinary win. <laughs> The red wave has cometh and the lefties are, well, they're giving me too much content. <laughs> Real quick, I don't mean to gloat, but these people are just out of their minds. So this isn't gloating. This is just showing the reaction and how mentally unstable some of these people are. Because this girl, this young lady here in this car, and she's like, why, why, why? And then she's talking about, uh, do you hate me that bad? Nobody knows who you are. That is narcissistic to even think somebody would know who you are. It really is. But anyway, let's watch this reaction again. She made number six on that list, but let's see. <laughs> let's watch her again in all of her glory. Or she sets the camera up so she can have this meltdown in the car. Okay, this is really good. Sorry. Look, it's, it's fair to say she's not handling it well. As for this next yeah, lass, uh, I'm not sure where she is today. I swear to God, if you idiots elect that demented man, 
I will burn this whole fucking place to the ground. And this woman is too old to be this stupid, but sadly leftism and TDS can leave the sufferer delirious, delusional and dangerously stupid. You voted for a racist, a rapist, a dictator. You voted for a bully, a bigot, and a narcissist. Even the Germans tried to warn us, but you didn't listen. You didn't listen to the historians, the psychologists, the educators, and the intellectuals. Of course not, because Dictatorship 101 is to convince you to distrust the media, the educated, and to... Okay, one thing I will say about this lady, her uh, name on here is Shell Shock KKK. Really? 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 <laughs> the White Hoods KKK? The White Supremacist uh, KKK? The Lynch Mob KKK? Really? I don't think you thought that out very well, you moron. But anyway, let me finish this create an us versus them mentality. It's always the dimmest folk who go on about educated experts. If you're wondering why these lefties are so triggered, so shocked by reality, so out of touch with their fellow Americans, well, it could be because they consume the type of media I'm about to show you now. Here are some of our favourite media leftists who were convinced that Donald Trump was toast, that Kamala was going to win and win easily. In my humble view, lights out. Please welcome back the next president of the United States. I think it's going to be a blowout, actually. I don't think it's going to be a, a close race. I think a blowout like a diaper. <laughs> Oh, she shouldn't have used that word. But anyway, if you have kids, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, these people are so stupid on The View. So stupid and just trash. <laughs> I don't even know why the show is still on, but here you go. There are going to be those Republicans that just vote for Harris. It'll be tied on election day. As always, it will. the polls will be tied and then he'll lose. You call us trash. Oh, oh. Oh, Janie Vance, you just stepped up in a way that I've never seen in my political life, Ugh. and I worked with Sarah Palin. I would say take Harris over 270 electoral votes. Let these fools in these crypto markets do something. Let them, let them drive the betting line into a favorable place and take advantage of it. That's what I would do. I think she's going to win. You wrote Trump is toast. Do you stand behind that today? Oh, even more so. Uh, I feel the same way that I felt a few weeks ago that Trump is toast. And they're not taking the loss well. Here is Sonny Hostin of The View lashing out at white women without college degrees. What we did not have is white women who voted about 52%, right, uh, for Donald Trump, uneducated white women, is my understanding. You have Latino men actually voting more for him. Those awful women and Latino men, how dare they think for themselves. That's right. By the we way, did the think for ourselves, you idiot. Showed that the majority of married men, unmarried men, and married women voted for Trump. It was the unmarried women who backed Kamala. What was it that uh, J.D. Vance said uh, about that group? And uh, Sonny also made some absurd claims about losing her civil rights. The desperation to be a victim is strong in this one. I worry about my children's future, especially my daughter, who now has less rights than I have. Trump already said he wasn't going to do anything about that. It's based on the state. If you don't like what the state does, move. Jeez. I'm sure these people live in a liberal area so they can do whatever they want. Kill as many kids as they want. I don't know why these people are just still going on and on. She hasn't lost any damn rights. Moron. These people are so stupid. And I remember my father telling me many, many years ago that I was the first person in, in his family to enjoy full civil rights. And now I have less civil rights than I had when he told me that. So again, I'm profoundly disturbed. And the perpetually aggrieved ladies of The View also want greater censorship. They want to curb free speech on social media so a Democrat never loses again. Well, it would help if 
we could regulate social media, because one of the biggest defenders is D.C. and Congress have not been able to do one thing in regard to the rogue corporation. It's not going to get any better well, with, with Elon Musk now in the, in the they were already uh, doing censorship during COVID. Mark Zuckerberg recently came out and said that's what they were doing, pressuring him and the whole platform to censor people over the COVID vaccines, mandates, everything else. If you said anything against what the government said you had to do, they were censoring people. Duh. <laughs> These people are so stupid. I just can't. Uh <laughs> The administration now had to MSNBC's Joy Reid, who is always having a normal one here. She claims that Florida is a fascist state. It's a pure Project 2025 in miniature in Florida. And that kind of extreme, sort of extremist, right-wing, fascist-type government in Florida, does that make it a more attractive place? Oh, dear. And if you're in the habit of consuming media like that, then you may react like this when Donald Trump has a landslide victory. We may not have race tomorrow. Oh, oh. Oh, Anyone else helping a meltdown? I don't know how to do this. Right now, I'm just not. I can't deal with this right now. I can honestly say that when Trump's election didn't go as we wanted it in 2020, I didn't feel like this. I was probably more angry because of the what we assumed was going on, election interference, stuff like that. But I don't remember freaking out. Like these people like taking this totally emotionally personal. <laughs> I just don't remember doing that at all. I didn't cry over it. I was just like, okay, well, back to work. I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, these people have way too much time on their hands if they're able to really dwell on this election and go. I think what they've done is listen to what the media says about all this stuff with the reproductive rights. It's like, do your own research and stop listening to them because they're going to lie to you because they want you because they already are biased. They have their own opinions. They've already made their opinions known very rapidly. So yeah, they're going to fear monger and make people believe stuff. If Trump said he was not going to even touch anything else with the abortion stuff, and he believes in the three exceptions, the life of the mother, rape, and incest. So blame your state if you don't like what your state's doing. But the people have spoken. Donald Trump's the next president. Now we need to move on. He's not going to mess with your periods. He doesn't care about that. He's got a country to run. So let's just go. <laughs> I don't know what else to say on that. Yes, it sucks. Stuff happens. But he's not trying to do anything. But anyway, these girls are going to keep breaking down, be emotional about this for the next four years. Because Kamala lied, said that there were doctors that were getting in trouble. So now they didn't people weren't even going to the hospitals because they were scared if they had a miscarriage that they would get in charge and all this other nonsense. So yeah, there's just a lot of lies being spread by the media and that candidate. <clears throat> but anyway, let's let these girls have their mental breakdown. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. I am 48 years old and I have never experienced anything like this and never thought I would in this country. I'm so stressed. I don't know how to handle this. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> but the best reaction goes to this joke star. This is superb work. I'm literally shaking right now. I'm a trans woman with a baby on the way. What am I going to do? Keep it? <laughs> Now, that was parody. I'm not sure if this next video is. I suspect 
it could be real. It's hard to tell nowadays. I can't believe Trump's actually going to win this f***ing thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm so f***ed up. God damn it. And here is another white dude for Kamala, or is it a work of satire? What the hell? You cannot be serious. How did I wake up to this garbage as my president? That's right, garbage. I went to bed last night and she was ahead. I woke up to this freaking nightmare. Donald Trump, how? Does America have this many Nazi Hitler following pieces of trash? Let's end lefties with Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez oh, ASC yes. pretending she's some heroine in a Nazi film. Here she warns that we're about to enter a period of fascism. I'm so scared. <laughs> Let's say peers in history of mass movements of people that mobilize to protect one another in times of fascism uh, and authoritarianism. And this is the era that we are poised to enter. Joining me now is Batia Ungasagon, Newsweek Deputy Opinion Editor and author of Second Class, How the Elites Betrayed America's Working Men and Women. Anyway, I'm going to stop this one and let's look at these others lefties losing it. Oh my gosh, let's see, more liberals breaking down. Oh my gosh. It entirely too, Lefty's losing it. Oh. And let's start with the recreation of an iconic moment in Lefty's losing it. First, the original clip that in so many ways captures the quintessential essence of lefties losing it, the crazy hyperbole, the wild emoting, the derangement and desperation to be a victim, all captured in this classic moment when Donald Trump was sworn in as president. Donald J. Trump is now president of the United States. It never gets old. And now that famous moment is not only a popular timeless meme, <laughs> it's also inspiring copycats, oh including my gosh. this woman's superb work at a recent Donald Trump rally. She didn't need to explain anything here. Everyone got the joke immediately. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there are other copycats and it can be hard to tell what's real and what's parody. For example, is this next uh, video a comedy skit or is it Rosie O'Donnell being afflicted with a terminal case of Trump derangement syndrome? Yeah. Okay, so how's everybody's nerves about this election? You know, um, uh, let's say on a scale of... Wasn't she one of the ones that was going to leave if he won? I guess they backtracked on that again because they know there's no other country like the United States. But anyway, <clears throat> this lady is just disgusting. And being can't think of anything else and may need some additional medication. I'm really? like a seven. And I just think with all those people showing up for Kamala... I don't think it's as close as they're saying it is. I really don't. And I think that uh, the dumpster, the hate rally manager, that guy, the orange dumpster fire. Yeah. Gosh, poor Rosie is so filled with hate. She can't even say President Donald Trump's name. That seems unhealthy. But at least she didn't start crying like J-Lo. I oh, promised boy. myself I wouldn't get emotional. But you know what? You know what? You should be emotional. For all their pandering and for all their telling us we need to vote for Kamala. And then, <clears throat> oh, she's still lost. They spent almost a billion dollars. She's like, I think, 20 million in debt. 
<laughs> the campaign from donors and they're mad because they lost money in the deal. But, you know, these people would not be affected by any policies that Kamala Harris put in place because they've got enough money to not be in the working class or the proletariat if they decided to push through with the socialist agenda, which it'll take a little bit to get through, but any uh, laws that would be made, go back and study your history, guys. Don't just take my word for it. But she would be in, in the elitist class because she's got some money, so the bourgeoisie. But anyway, go back and look. Her dad's a Marxist. This lady ought to know better. I think her parents are from Puerto Rico when they having problems with like uh, dictatorships, stuff like that, but whatever. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> a lot of these people running from socialist countries, only if the Democrats had more power, they would have already put in socialism. They just watch. Anyway. Let me let this moron talk. Somebody who else, yeah, didn't get her elected. We should be upset. We should be scared and outraged. We should. Our pain matters. We matter. You matter. Is she uh, talking to P. Diddy's victims there? What was that all about? Yes, uh, interesting performance from J-Lo, Jenny from the block, Jennifer Lopez, the woman known for her terrible pics from p diddy to ben affleck twice now she's lecturing americans on who to vote for no thanks love but i do have some good news for you perhaps there is a cure for trump derangement syndrome be sure to tell the lefty in your life about trump and old rough day <laughs> do you find yourself acting irrationally do you get mistaken as a hyena when you laugh oh or do word salads occur frequently now there's help Introducing Trumpanol. Trumpanol is designed specifically for those suffering with Trump derangement syndrome. <laughs> Don't allow TDS to control your life anymore. Trumpanol is fast acting, delivering relief from the stress of campaign season. Side effects may include registering as a Republican or voting for Donald Trump. <laughs> Consult with your doctor before taking Trumpanol. Now to a man who needs a double dose of Trumpanol oh, is no. a man who proves that even a simpleton clown can be a billionaire. Here is Mark Cuban being a misogynist doll. Donald Trump, you never see him around strong, intelligent women, ever. It's just that simple. Do you really want to be saying that to Tulsi Gabbard or, I don't know, Melania or Sarah Huckabee Sanders? Kayla McEnany. Governor of yeah. Arkansas after being Donald Trump's White House Stupid. press secretary. And she had this to say about the feral left's attacks against her. President who empowered his team. And when the left was relentlessly attacking me, kicking my family out of a restaurant, parents spitting on our car at our children's school. MSNBC reporters called me not even human, vile, unfit to be a mother. It was President Trump who pulled me aside, looked me in the eye, and said, Sarah, you're smart, you're tough, you're beautiful, and they attack you because you're good at your job. Now get back to work. Well, and see, that's all they can do is go after the person because they can't get to, uh, they can't beat their policies or whatever. It's like they have to attack you personally versus uh, addressing the real issues that voters want, really care about. If they had the ad hominem attacks, they attack you personally instead of like trying to understand what you're about, what your policy is, whatever. But that's politics today. Oh man. And this is why the left keeps losing. So it's not only lefties losing it, but they keep losing because they're out of touch with what the American people want. Because all they care about, the left, cares about his power and control and keeping their thumb on people. 
Whereas the Republicans, the right, seems to be more like freedom, liberty, all the things that, you know, this country was founded on. But anyway. But yes, I just thought I'd share those. Those are pretty ridiculous. But anyway, y'all have a good day. Um, I may be working a bunch of hours soon, so I may not be on much at all. But yeah. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one. Bye.